Uh, second big trend is, especially within these emerging countries, is the big surge in progress. There has been unprecedented progress in the last 20 years uh, in, uh, in about half of the countries in Africa. And I mean progress in many different dimensions. One is economic growth, which I've already talked about, but if you flip, I'm going to come back to figure two, but if you flip over to figure three, we've got uh, the poverty headcount index falling from 60 percent uh, to uh, around 42 percent. Uh, over the last two decades. Never before in history has the poverty headcount index fallen like that in sub-Saharan Africa. It's not reaching everywhere, to be sure, and there are questions about, about the data, but some people think it's even fallen faster. But some of this economic growth, the implication of that is that some of this economic growth is without question getting to some very poor people. But also without question, there's a lot of very poor people that are being left out. But we've got this big drop in poverty. And then figure four shows uh, the child mortality rate which has dropped uh, incredibly quickly over the last few decades, saving literally millions of lives. And one of the most interesting things about this statistic on child mortality rate is that since 1980, the child mortality rate has fallen in every single country in sub-Saharan Africa, no exceptions. In fact, I know I can say that because it's actually fallen in every single country in the world. No exceptions. It's fallen in the United States. It's fallen in North Korea. It's fallen in every country in sub-Saharan Africa. And never, I don't know of any socioeconomic indicator ever in world history that has improved in every single country in the world at the same time. But uh, infant and child mortality rates uh, have done so. So there's an, an incredible improvement in health, even despite the crises of the HIV AIDS uh, epidemic, uh, the uh, malaria uh, crisis, although uh, malaria deaths have been cut in half. Uh, the, uh, the Ebola outbreak and many others. Despite these outbreaks, the overall trend in the last 20 years is unquestionably improvements in health. I don't have any data here in education, but the education enrollment rates are way up, literacy rates are way up, and far more girls are in school. Uh, uh, Linda talked earlier about the promise of the future of the, of the Yali group, and I think that's exactly right, but at part of that, and equally important, is the fact that far more girls are getting into school, and that sets the foundation for the next generation where these girls are going to be better educated, they're going to get married later, they will have fewer children, and their children will be better educated and healthier, uh, and it sets the tone already for that next generation. So I think there's some really exciting trends in this progress in development over the last 20 years in about half of Africa, progress in economic growth, in poverty, in health, and education.